All right, for the next zip line, we're going to use SAS and React to build the game of life. If you haven't heard of the game of life, it's designed by mathematician John Conway, and it's a pretty cool kind of mathematical experiment. Basically, it simulates the lives of cells who either reproduce or die based on the number of neighbors they have. It's, it has some very basic rules which are explained in a video uh, that I've linked to and also in the Wikipedia article for the Game of Life. But as you can see, squares gradually coalesce into these um, patterns that don't change. So this looks pretty complicated, but again, it's based on a few simple rules. Let's talk about the rules for building this zipline itself. Uh, the first rule, as always, don't look at the example project's code. Figure it out for yourself. Uh, fulfill the below user stories using whichever libraries and APIs you need. Be sure to give it your own personal style. And be sure to use SAS and React to build this project. The point of this project is to give you React practice. Let's talk about user stories. So when I first arrive at the game, it will randomly generate a board and start playing automatically. I can start and stop the board. I can set up the board. I can clear the board. And when I press start, the game will just play out. Each time the board changes, I can see how many generations have gone by. So let's, let's take another look at this real quick. Um, first of all, I can clear the board. I can add some squares here if I want to. And you can see that that didn't last very long, but the generations keep counting up even though uh, nothing's happening. Uh, I can also, these are some additional things that you don't have to do, but the, uh, the speed of the simulation, the size of the grid, those are things that can be changed fairly easily once you have everything built with React. Um, and if I were to refresh this, you'll see that it just has the new board and it automatically starts running. The generations are ticking up. So this is a fairly challenging zip line. But it's a lot of fun. I encourage you to watch the video linked here and read the reference. And um, once you're done, of course, be sure to share it in our code review chat room and also on Twitter and on your city's campsite on Facebook. Enjoy.